As you can tell, I wear glasses. I know I'm stating the obvious, but to tell you the truth, I've had glasses for so long that I don't even notice that they're on my face most of the time. Really, the only time I do notice is when I have to get up in the morning to reach for them and knock them on the floor. And then I'm completely blind and I, I panic a little bit and I need to find my glasses, but I don't see them. So I slowly like crawl on all fours looking for them. And it, it's just not fun. And it's not fun when you can't see something because we rely on our eyes to give us information to our brains to tell us if something is real or not. I mean, I see the camera in front of me, you see the screen in front of you, and we know those things are real. But how about the things we don't see? Are they actually there? I mean, how do we believe in someone or something that we don't see? Well, the reality is we do it all the time. For example, Wi-Fi, right? You don't see the Wi-Fi, but you know that it works because, and it's there because it impacts your internet and it impacts your social media. We know that Wi-Fi isn't working when we can't connect online. So we do believe in things that we don't see, but what about God? What about God? Because we don't always see him, but we do see his impact. We don't see a face like you're seeing mine, but there is so much that he gives us. There's so much that he shows us. And when we see those things, it becomes a little easier to believe. The problem is we don't always know where to look. So we have to look through scripture, right? And the, in the book of Exodus chapter three, we find Moses talking to God. See, God had asked Moses to go to the Israelites to tell them that God has a message for them. And while Moses knows God, he realizes that not everyone does. In fact, he sees this as a problem. So he says to God, if I go tell the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has sent me to you. And they ask me, what is his name? What do I tell them? That's a legitimate question, right? It's a great question. I mean, have you ever tried to explain God to someone who doesn't know him? Have you ever tried to explain who God is to someone who doesn't know who you're talking about? See, what's interesting about the situation is that Moses has to not only tell them who God is, but that God wants him, uh, them to follow him uh, out of slavery and into the promised land. And that's a huge ask from someone that they might not know. So what does Moses tell them? This is what God says. God replied to Moses, I am who I am. Then he added, this is what you tell the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. So God gives Moses a name. I am. There you go. Pretty clear, right? Mystery solved. I know some of you are probably thinking like, Chris, how does this even help? Well, our Catholic catechism tells us this. By revealing his name, God at the same time reveals his faithfulness, which is from everlasting to everlasting, valid for the past. I am the God of your father. As for the future, I will be with you. See, God who reveals his name as I am reveals himself as the God who is always there present to his people in order to save them. See, in other words, God is with us. God is with us and he will become what we need him to become. And in the case of the Israelites, he will become their deliverer, their savior. See, God will be what we need him to be, but don't confuse that with what we want him to be. See, while we might want God to grant our wishes and our deepest desires, what that would do is create conflict in the world because what I want might be different from what you want and what from he wants and she wants. So what God does is he gives us what we need because we all have similar needs. Like right now, most of us need patience to withstand this unknown territory or patience to be able to survive our families and being in the same home. Many of us need the gift of counsel to make the right decisions during this trying time. Like when do I sleep? What do I do? How do I react? And we, most of us need hope to know that even though it's hard now, what will come later is going to be good. See, when God tells us that he is I am, he's telling us that he's with us always and to recognize that we know, have to get to know him better. So for the remainder of Lent, I want to encourage you to get to know God a little bit better. And a simple way to start is in the Bible. We'll have a link in the notes for you to download some scripture verses and other places that you can, uh, you know, get the Bible if you don't have a, a tangible one yourself. But look at those verses and, and discover who God is. Look at the story of Jesus because Jesus, the Son of God, he is also God. And we know that because in the Gospel of John, Jesus says that he is I am too. 
And when we read about Jesus, we get to know him further and we get to know God and who God is and was. I also want you to get, invite you to get to know God through prayer. I want you to find, if possible, a quiet place in your house where you can just spend some time listening and, uh, and, and then uh, praying and asking God for, uh, for those things that you need. Just spend five minutes quietly just thinking about what you need and then write down that need on a piece of paper. And if you want others to pray for you, then I encourage you to take a picture of that piece of paper and share it with us on Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram, you can email it to us uh, and, and again, information below. But post it on Instagram with the hashtag I am provide and, and mention us at SJP Youth. I know we're in a situation where we're wondering, when is this all going to end? Or is my family going to be okay? And I know there's a lot of things that we want, but don't forget, God is a God of the things that we need. God is with us. You are not alone. God is with you, and we're praying for you. And we'll be back again next week with another video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. And again, if you want to reach out to us, there's more information in the notes. But please know that we are praying with you, but you are never alone because God is right there and he's going to give you what you need. Let's pray. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this time to get to know you. And, and I know, Lord, there's a lot of things that we want. There's a lot of things that we're not seeing and it's getting hard to sometimes believe that things can get better. But you are I am. You are with us from the beginning, and you will always be with us. And even though we might not be able to see you, Lord, we can see your impact. We can see the amazing things that you can do. God, thank you so much for loving us. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.